Hello athletes and fitness enthusiasts, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about fat burners. Wouldn't it be nice if you could lose weight simply by taking a pill? Of course the answer is yes. However, unfortunately, claims that you can lose weight without changing your eating habits just aren't true. And some of these pills may even hurt your health. In this video, we will learn to recognize fake claims in fat burner ads and false online stories about weight loss products. So let's get to it. Supplement producers and marketeers will say just about anything to get you to buy their weight loss products. Here are some of the false promises you often see in weight loss ads. You will lose weight without dieting or exercising. No, you won't. You don't have to watch what you eat to lose weight. Yes, you do. If you use our product, you'll lose weight permanently. I don't think so. To lose weight, all you have to do is take our pill. Uh, hell no. You can lose 15 kilograms in 15 days. No way. It's simply physically not possible. This product works for everyone. Say what? A common category of nutrition supplements promoted with such statements and to which athletes and fitness enthusiasts are frequently exposed are the fat burners. The term fat burner is used to describe nutrition supplements that are claiming to acutely increase fat metabolism or energy expenditure, impair fat absorption, increase weight loss, increase fat oxidation during exercise or somehow cause long-term adaptations that promote fat metabolism. The category of fat burners often appeals to athletes as a quick fix for improved health and performance. And advertisements are often accompanied by aesthetically driven marketing. Common claims include improvements in performance, weight loss, fat loss, muscle gain or a combination of these factors. Ingredients which have been proposed to increase fat burning are listed in this overview. I won't read out the entire list. Instead, you can pause the video to have a closer look. It is important to note that supplements often contain several of these ingredients, each with a different proposed mechanism of action. As well, it is often claimed that the combination of a number of these substances will improve the effects. It looks like these combinations are used as a marketing purpose to attract consumers who are apparently impressed by a formulation with a greater number of substances. Nevertheless, whatever the manufacturers claim, very few of these dietary supplements have appropriate evidence to support their use. The expansive list of fat burning supplements is mainly profit driven and the list is likely to grow at a rate that cannot be matched by a similar increase in scientific evidence pro proving the efficacy or rather inefficacy of the products. The claims are way too appealing because they are trying to convince you that you can simply buy your weight loss for a relatively small price. Unfortunately for most supplements claimed to be fat burners, there is a true lack of scientific data. In many cases, studies are not scientific and the evidence flimsy to say the least. For example, trials may have been carried out by a biased research group with lab animals instead of real people or without double blinding and the results are definitely not published in a scientific peer reviewed journal. Actually, there are only two supplements in the list that may have some research backed fat burning effect. Based on the available studies, caffeine and green tea have some evidence that they could 
in some circumstances enhance fat metabolism. Caffeine ingestion may increase energy expenditure, in particular at rest or fat oxidation also at rest and during low intensity exercise. But these effects are less obvious during moderate to high intensity workouts. It is important to know that caffeine on its own has not been shown to be effective in reducing body weight. Therefore, the common consensus is that caffeine may exert a small effect on increasing fat metabolism, but studies should be interpreted with caution. Also, green tea supplementation has not been found to influence fat use during exercise. However, green tea ingestion may have the potential to increase fat metabolism at rest and thus may help to lose body fat and body weight. As with caffeine, the effects appear to be relatively small and the underlying mechanisms for the metabolic effects of green tea ingestion are not fully understood. Therefore, the practical recommendations with regard to green tea ingestion are not clear for athletes and fitness enthusiasts. Finally, it's noteworthy to mention that the impact of both caffeine and green tea on fat metabolism is minor in comparison to those other factors known to influence fat metabolism at rest and during exercise, such as exercise intensity, training status, exercise duration and carbohydrate intake. I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. We are dropping videos like this on YouTube on a regular basis. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments box below with hashtag School of Sport Nutrition and I'll do my best to get in there and get those questions answered right away.